out. So wish us luck. Hopefully we can do this together. <laughs> so plan, are you going to lift the bed and I'm going to pull the rug? I guess. Just, it's going to, I don't know if you want to pull it to the side. Okay, you lift that side first and then I'll pull this. One, two, three. I got it. Success. Do you like the new rug, Marshy? Do you like it? Is it comfy? Okay, after a lot of struggling, we finally got it under. I think it looks really pretty. I actually love that it adds some more texture and color in the room. It's a lot bigger. It adds a lot more coziness. Here's a view from the mirror. I feel like you can see it a lot better right here. I love the design. So I'm absolutely in love. I just got back from working out and I had a package from Target. And if you saw it two vlogs ago, um, I ordered, or I didn't order, I went to Target and I found this green throw blanket. I tried it on the bed. I didn't really like it. It wasn't the right color and it was way too small. So I went on Target's website to see if they had anything else. And I found this really soft. I love this material on these blankets when it's really soft like this. And then I got this little green striped throw blanket. I actually don't know if it's gonna be too small again. And then I also got these pillows, but I had gotten those first. So I put them on the bed before we put the new rug out. I kind of like it, but now I think it's too long. So it's like hanging off a lot on the sides. I love the color. I think I just need to exchange it for the queen size. I'm kind of liking this one more than the, just the solid green. I like it and I think I'm gonna keep it um, for downstairs, like on the couch, because I don't like our blankets that are on the couch. But the cats like love this style of blanket and so do I. So I'm gonna get this in the smaller size for sure because I love it. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. I think I like this a lot more. I'm not sure if we're 100% there yet. Maybe I need to play around with it a little. I think that it plays off the green really well and I like all the textures going on. I wish that the green was just slightly longer than the white throw blanket because I feel like they just kind of hit the exact same place. But I'm liking the texture and the layering with the pillows and everything, I'm gonna keep this. It is officially the best part of the day when you get to take off your makeup. I don't think there's a better feeling than wiping away all of your makeup from the day. I honestly probably didn't even need to take my makeup off with this because I'm washing my hair. I do like to double cleanse, so honestly I kind of have been doing this first anyways, and then I'll cleanse with my ordinary face cleanser. And I really like that combination. I feel like it's just like really gentle on my skin. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow, so I wanna do an everything shower. So I figured I'd just show you guys what I use. I double cleanse with this shampoo. Once a month, I've been doing this Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Shine Mask. I feel like it helps with my frizz and makes my hair super soft. And I'll use the Function of Beauty Conditioner. And then I've also been loving this First Aid Beauty Body Scrub. I usually do this only when I'm gonna self tan, but I've kind of been doing it like every other week. When I do an everything shower, it makes my skin so soft and just probably actually good for for it to remove all of the dead skin. I'm gonna wash my face for two minutes with this squalling cleanser. today. I wanted to get Ryan a little goodie basket. We didn't say that we were going to get each other anything, but I just felt like I wanted to surprise him with something. I was going to like leave cute little notes around the house for him to find this morning, but we were literally never separate from each other last night. He always knows when I'm trying to do something if he's around. So I couldn't really do that, <laughs> but I was like, okay, you go to work early tomorrow and then come home early for our dinner reservation. So then I can make him this little basket so that I could surprise him with it. So I just got him like some of his favorite things and then this morning he said that he actually needed boxers so I picked up a pack of boxers for him. His favorite, Olipops. He loves this tropical punch flavor. I don't really like this flavor at all. His favorite, peanut butter granola. These Thai sweet chili pistachios. I just feel like he would like this flavor. Sriracha almonds. I feel like we've had the wasabi ones before, but they didn't have those. So I got these sriracha ones. I feel like he'll like them because he likes anything spicy. He always needs shaving cream. So I got him this Avino sensitive skin um, fragrance free one. And then just a pack of gum. I always want gum when we're in his car. The last thing I got him are these little heart shaped Reese's peanut butter cups. These are literally his favorite dessert. So I had to get him some. And then I just have this little white basket. This will be perfect to put everything in. I literally came out so cute. I'm just 
just adding a little card in there. I just realized as I was writing the card that it's our 10th Valentine's Day together. Just so crazy. I literally feel like we just met. I don't know how 10 years went by, but I'm so excited to give this to him. So I'll show you when he gets home. <laughs> of stuff from Abercrombie. I am doing a little shopping for a couple trips that I have coming up and then also two weddings. So that's kind of what I had in mind with these and then also some spring stuff. I am gonna start with this dress that I'm already wearing. I am obsessed with it. I honestly never buy anything pink or like frilly like this, but I have those two weddings that I was saying coming up and I feel like these types of dresses are so fun for like a bachelorette or the rehearsal dinner. This is so cute. I got an extra, extra small petite and I think that that was perfect because short dresses and skirts usually are very short on, or are very long on me. I never find anything that actually fits my height. I will say it's a little tight here. I prefer it to be a little bit tighter just because I hate when strapless dresses are falling down. So I think the extra small petite would probably be just a little bit too big. I am obsessed with this. I got the same dress in this print because I saw it and I just had a feeling that I was gonna like the pink one and would want this print as well. How cute is this it has little strawberries and flowers on it saw so my last abercrombie haul you know that i got this dress in black and i love it so much and then i saw they had the yellow of course i had to get it because i love yellow especially for spring and summer i feel like this is going to be so pretty for one of the weddings that i go to this year like the back is my favorite it just fits perfectly i'm obsessed with this i never buy pants suit jumpsuit because they typically never fit me in the length but abercrombie obviously has the petite option i've decided i'm just gonna try it and see i'm not 100 sure how i feel about this style on me i think it fits really well with heels on it would be the perfect length is this my vibe i don't know maybe for like a nice dinner or something now that i look at it in the mirror i kind of like it I feel like it's really cute i got this dress in mind for a trip that we have coming up i feel like this is just like a really pretty summer dress it does fit perfectly in the length but i can't tell if it's just like too much material for me i got the extra extra small petite i love that it has pockets but it's just super flowy and comfy and i feel like when you're on vacation if you're going to like breakfast or just like walking around something like this is just like so easy to throw on i got this little crochet bag because i feel like this is really cute to wear for the beach a summer vibe farmer's market could be really cute okay then i get this little black top i actually love it so much it fits me perfectly at first i thought it was going to be too tight but it has this like stretchy band in the back which is really nice and it has a zipper on the side so you can easily put it on i love these fold over details it lays really nicely i was worried because i saw a couple reviews saying that this part didn't lay well but on me it fits perfect i really like this as like an elevated basic i feel like you could just wear it with a pair of jeans or it'd be really cute like a maxi skirt or something in the summer or also leather pants for a date night i feel like this is a very versatile top i got this little pink sweater it's super soft and comfy and really like thick and warm and i got it in a size small i like my sweaters to be oversized but i just can't decide if it's just like a weird fit it's like not oversized enough and not tight enough so i don't know but i feel like it could be cute over like loungewear in the house or something i got this little yellow top and i can't tell how i feel about it honestly i don't know if it 
just fits weird like in the neck line or maybe I just need to do it with my hair up or something. I'm not sure. I feel like I need to sit on it for a minute and see what I think. I feel like it has potential though. And then I got these cargo pants in this like gray color. I got an extra extra small regular because they said it ran really big. I just don't know. I feel like it's a little tight in the waistband and I'm not sure how I feel about the fit of them on me. I also got these jeans. They're in the 90s Relax. These are the same size that I normally get, but I just feel like they kind of fit like a little boxy on me. I don't know if it's just this colorway. I got this little lounge set and I think it is so cute. It's super soft and comfy, really buttery. I love this lace detailing on the top and this square neckline. I feel like it's super flattering. And I don't have anything like this. I just think this is gonna be so cute to lounge around the house in. I also ended up getting this romper in the same style but I don't know why it was so small I couldn't even get it on so I'm not even gonna show you guys this one I already have this lounge set in white and I love it I decided to size down to the extra extra small in the shorts because I got the extra small in the bottoms last time but I honestly think I like the extra small better I think it's gonna be nice just to have like a variety just love when my lounge wear is like super loose and comfortable this material is literally the softest material ever so I had to get it in black I got the long sleeve sleeve lounge top because I don't have it in the white for the winter months to have a nice like long sleeve comfy pajama shirt if I don't want to wear like a jacket because I'm always cold so I like having something super warm on and then I got the pants I did size down to the extra small in these or I did the extra extra small and I wish I did the extra small like I did in the white because I just again love them to be really loose but I love this set so much the last thing I got is this active wear jumpsuit and man, I'm not sure how I feel about it I feel like it's like just a little loose right here I'm not sure. I have to sit on this one again. I'll have all of the sizes and all the links in the description for you guys. I just finished filming a little makeup get ready with me for TikTok and then I also got my Sephora order in. I did a little unboxing on TikTok but I obviously have to show you guys too. I got a little restock of my ordinary squalling cleanser. If you have dry skin, this is literally my favorite. It's so hydrating. I got another restock of my squalling serum from the ordinary. I use this every morning and night and then I also use it when I prep my skin for makeup. It's so hydrating. And then I got a bunch of lip liners because I've been wanting some new lip liners just to switch it up. I'm wearing one of them right now. I really like it. The one that I'm wearing is this Rare Beauty in Wise. It's like a really pretty and I'm like purpley brown. I got another Rare Beauty lip liner in Humble. A really pretty pink. It's really hard to see honestly on camera, but this is kind of what the color looks like. Another Rare Beauty lip liner in in lively a little bit of a lighter peachy pink i really liked the consistency of this lip liner it glides on really smoothly my first purchase from makeup by mario i got spice chai really pretty dark brown wanting to try the brown like 90s lip liner look so that's kind of what i went with today but it's more of a purpley brown so this one is more of a warm brown and then i got two hourglass lip liners i have also never bought anything from hourglass i really want to try the concealer I've seen like mixed reviews on it, so I'm not sure how it will be for my skin, but I think I'm just gonna order it and try it because I've heard really good things. One in Flaunt, which is like a nice peachy nude. The last one is in Candid, another brown. This one's kind of a medium brown. I feel like it might be more of a cool tone. I'm excited to switch up my lip combos and try these out. So I just realized when I walked into the spare bedroom that there was another Abercrombie box and I had a few more pieces in there that I didn't include in the haul yesterday. So let's do a little last minute Abercrombie try on. But these really cute striped linen beach pants. The way that I tell you that I'm obsessed with these, these are so nice. I really like the waistband. These are just super comfy and loose. Love that they have pockets and I'm definitely gonna be taking these on my trips, but also I'm just gonna wear them at the beach because they're literally so cute and they're not see-through at all. They're double lined, so they're really nice. Got this really cute yellow sweater. I sized up in this one, I believe to a small and I really like how it fits. I like how I can just kind of like slouch it off my shoulder. I did a little bra tuck. I really love this. I think this is going to be so cute for spring and summer. Actually, it's really cute with these pants too for 
just like a casual beach look. It's a really cute little sweater vest. This is gonna be so cute for our trip that we're going on. I feel like the vibes are perfect. I think it'd be kind of cute if you unbuttoned it. Just had it open like this for a little relaxed vibe and the quality is really good. Last thing is another pair of these linen pants, similar to the dress that I tried on yesterday. I love them so much. I do wish that this second layer of material went all the way down. It's like shorts <laughs> underneath, so that part I don't love. I just feel like it would have been better if it just went all the way down to the bottom as well. Also has pockets. I love the waistband because it's really relaxed. It's not super tight, so it doesn't like pinch you in here. I just love that I can wear it like really low and relaxed and they're super flowy, very comfy for the beach or a vacation moment. I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys liked this video and I will see you next week. Bye.